And this is where the Me Too movement comes in. This is probably one of the most powerful movements against hypermasculinity at this point. But it has the potential to educate and change gender stereotypes for the next generation. But my concern with the movement is the direction that it'll take. You know, I, I think we should be aware of the severity of the punishment based on the misuse of masculinity and the power that is derived from it. At the moment, it seems like we're just drowning everybody, and that's really not fair. Teach them to swim if you can, and if they're willing to learn. Harvey Weinstein is a monster that was created by an overfed ego, amongst other things. But Louis C.K. wasn't. Now, that doesn't mean that I think what Louis did was okay. I, I don't, but the guy had a fetish and didn't know how to express it. Other men he knew didn't really have that fetish and neither did they talk about it if they did. So he competed with the other men and his ego and he lost. Louis is taking time for personal growth and so is Al Franken, but do these men need to have their lives destroyed just like Harvey Weinstein? You know, do we need to scorch the earth with the memories of semi-decent dudes that made an error? How are we supposed to distinguish between something truly horrible that was that derived from a misuse of power and was clearly abuse and, and uh, rape and sexual misconduct on the highest level to something that was a slip up but can still be considered a sexual mis misconduct and still give these people a, a chance to come back. The same goes for Aziz. And look, I am not defending Aziz Ansari's actions. Everybody knows that he's made my stand-up career a lot harder since that's all I get compared to. But he took a lady out on a horrendous date. But he apologized and she could have used verbal cues and left. Be a badass like Joan of Arc. And, you know, you could have... You could have crowned him like King Bad Date or, or a, the true master of none. No tact and no class. Master of none. And that story has all the trappings of hyperfemininity that could send the Me Too movement in the wrong direction. The direction of shaming men for bad behavior, which leads them to retreat internally, getting angry and possibly even violent. We can be educating them about the latent hypermasculine tendencies that even tiny men like Aziz and the pudgy dudes like Louis C.K. have. But guys like Aziz and Louis falls in, fall into the trap of hypermasculine conquest without even realizing it, right? Go on a date and treat the other person with some damn respect and not as a receptacle for your sexual frustrations so you can high five your buddies over a drink at the bar right hotel rooms are for private and anonymous masturbations that are later revealed on an expose on channel four hopefully these men come back uh, into the light as better people that can respect women and themselves just a little bit more this movement is in its infancy it can help redefine masculinity and help create a culture of acceptance instead of brutal competition that ends in physical and emotional wounds. This movement can teach men that they can redeem themselves through honesty and letting go of their ego and respecting those that are different than them. Maybe if God would have just opened up a little bit about their breakup with Joan of Arc and how it really affected them, maybe hypermasculine dudes wouldn't see them as this buffed, ripped, kind of naked dude hanging out in the clouds. You know, maybe, maybe the vision of God would be like this super sensitive, uh, nerdy kid that, uh, that dr draws and speaks about the human condition and how we should learn how to love and accept each other and, you know, has uh, majestic, long, be beautiful hair. Also, atheists would believe that you exist. So there, there's a positive in that too. The next generation needs to see that there are, there is some redemption for slip-ups and, and what truly extreme behavior looks like. If not, Me Too could slip into perpetuating the problem like hyperfemininity and 
that is going to lead to either like no hugs or 100% death by hugs.